What's up, y'all? Twan Eagles 215 reporting back at y'all with another video. And if you are new around here and it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and do me a big favor and smash that subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it if you smash the subscribe button. Um, also, if you can, guys, share the video, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, share this video everywhere you can. Tell your neighbors on both sides about this video. Um, before we get started, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that um, the Eagles basically get um, Robert Davis, which is a old red skin off the practice squad. He is a, a guy that scored a touchdown in preseason. The guy's pretty fast. He actually um, caught a pass from Dwayne Haskins in the preseason to score a touchdown. So we have him on our roster. Will he play? I don't know. Um, maybe we'll see that. Get him out there. Maybe get him maybe one or two plays that he knows. Maybe five to ten plays. Maybe hopefully he can retain the information of what to do. But um, maybe we'll get him acclimated in this uh, game this week. Hopefully so. Now, the um, Redskins guys is a team that's a rival that knows us and we know them. Um, there are... Rivals, like I said, we know them pretty pretty well. They know us. We beat them in the first matchup. Um, and basically, um, I think I forgot the quarterback they had, but now they have Dwayne Haskins as their quarterback. Um, uh, and he's a rookie. That's the first thing we pay attention to. Jim Swartz is going to pay attention to this guy being a rookie, and he's going to try to confuse him on defense. But the main thing I wanted to say is let's keep the momentum that we have from that Giants game just in the third and fourth quarter. We can leave the first half there. We don't want the we don't want that momentum. We want the momentum from the um from the uh second half. We want the momentum from the second half. We want the play calling from the second half. Um do I think we're gonna get it? No. I think that now the Eagles are just um comfortable. The coaching staff, why? I don't know. I can't answer it. I think they're very comfortable with just leaving the uh, um, the plays that they really would like to call and opening up the playbook and um, to second half. I feel like they keep things basic the first half, and then the second half, I think they just try to turn it up, do different things, and um, you know implement some plays that may be different or the other team hasn't seen. Now, could that be considered as adjusting? It could be. It could be just the adjustments that they make um, in the second half, especially as far as the Giants game. As we've seen, it was a totally different game. But for the Redskins, um, hopefully they get it started early. That's the first thing. Um, guys that I, I would keep my eye on is Kerrigan. Ryan Kerrigan always will um, – Always gets a sack just about on us most of the time. Um, and Lane Johnson looked like he's out. Alshon Jeffrey looked like he's out. Um, so I think Vita, 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 Vita will be over there, and he will have his hands full against him. Kerrigan is is a, a, a pretty good pass rusher, so we have to pay attention to that side. Um, you can't ignore it. Um, the D line, the offensive line will have to step up and um, – Things of that nature. Now, on the offense side of the ball, Adrian Peterson is still there. Um, I never forget that uh, game he gashes for like ninety some yards. Uh, so we have to pay attention to details, and we have to. The cornerbacks have to be disciplined. Um, these guys do have speed receivers, but Dwayne Haskins is kind of a check down cornerback, so he might check the ball down more than often than looking so deep. Um, but we have to pay attention. We did get burnt uh, the last game, and they scored. So we have to pay attention to the deep ball and keep stuff in front of us. Um, we're probably going to get the off coverage uh, um, a cornerback play. We're probably going to get that. They're not going to do the bump and run. Um, I don't think coming out. So that's something to pay attention to in this game um 
basically keeping the corners in front of him. I think Jim Swartz is going to go with that plan. That's what he's been going with. Um, no, I don't like it, but that's what they're. That's what he's. That's what he's confident in doing. Um, Carson Wentz just has to play his game. Hopefully, they implement the same plays that they were implementing in that Giants game. The quick screens, the, the rolling out, um, letting Carson, letting the play kind of break down, and letting Carson figure something out. You know, versus just keeping him in the pocket where he's not very stationary and he's not his best. We want to put Carson in a situation where he could be his best, which is out of the pocket. Um, running the ball, I think, will be key. Boston Scott, of course, will be key. Um, Miles Sanders, um, we don't know about Jordan Howard yet. He had a, This is the biggest stinger I've ever seen, longest stinger in the world. Uh, he's still out. I think he missed the last two games, maybe just make it the third or two or three games he done missed. But the thing about that is that we do need Jordan Howard back. Hopefully he will be back. Um, and Carson gets a little bit extra time to work with these guys, and I think he feels a little bit more confident in some of these guys. Um, like I said, Jeffrey's out, Lane Johnson's out. far as I know, that's all I have on the injuries. But we can't take this game lightly. We have to go out here. We have to take care of business. The Redskins are a team that basically are is don't have nothing to play for, but they can, you know, those are the teams you have to watch out for. The teams that don't have nothing to play for is the teams you have to watch out for, as we've seen with Miami. So we don't want to run into that again. Um, and, you know, we want to go in this game and we want to dominate. You know, these kind of games, we the games we supposed to dominate, we need to go ahead and dominate. Now was the time to start, you know what I mean, to dominate. And um, that's what we need to do. We don't need to take no shortcuts or we don't need to leave them any room where they can score or make the game close, you know what I mean? So, you know, we, we need to watch out for those things. Make sure Carson is protected. Don't put him in any harm's way um, and give him a clean pocket. Make him give him a few design rollouts. Don't just give him one. And let's not do the obvious on offense. Let's not just run the ball first down. Let's just not throw the ball on uh, third down. You know, we have to mix it up. Keep these guys on their toes. So. Excuse me. That's all I have to say about that. If you made it to the end of this video, guys, go ahead and leave a comment to let me know what y'all think and what we need to do to beat the Redskins. And it's Twan Eagles 215, and I'm signing out. And it's always Fly Eagles Fly.